contortionist and fitness trainer, you'll always ask me how I got super flexible or how I can do all these crazy tricks. I'm here to tell you that you don't actually have to sit in any painful splits or back bends to learn any of that stuff. I'm going to teach you some super simple everyday lifestyle practices that you can start right now. Only take a few minutes each day and will change your life for the better. Let's get started. Tip number one would be to roll out all your muscles. I might sound totally crazy, but believe me, this works. Foam rollers, yoga tuna balls, you name it. I'm using the Spook Massage Roller, which is a magnetic massage roller with the double eight in the middle for extra penetration, plus the pressure points on top, which really target the tight muscles. So what you do is you take the roller, pick a muscle that you want to target, and you're just going to roll back and forth. Just keep going up and down, up and down. You can even sort of lean side to side. You can even go diagonally and crossways. I personally like to go over all the different muscle groups in my body, focusing especially on the ones that are extra tight. So for me, I have very tight calves, and my entire shoulders in general are pretty tight too, so I roll extra on those. Remember, you don't want to be holding your breath when you do this because that will make your muscles tense up more. You also don't want to be rolling and pushing so hard that it feels painful or that you're like, oh my gosh, I just wish this was over because that means you're just hurting your muscles instead of loosening them up. Talk to your doctor before doing any sort of massages or tip treatment manipulation or foam rolling, especially if you have any pre-existing health conditions. If you have a pacemaker or anything metal in your body at all, don't use the magnetic roller. This is just such an amazing thing to do. Just a few minutes each day, whether it's in the morning, night, before, or after you work out. Whatever it is, just a few minutes of foam rolling each day is going to make such an improvement in your flexibility and mobility overall. Might sound totally crazy, but just trust me on this one. I personally love acupressure. It's a really good way to loosen up any sore spots, tight spots after a workout or after a long day. I'm personally using this beautiful red acupressure mat from Spunk. It's basically a structured foam mat and it has all these little spikes on it. Once they press up against those sore spots in your body, they'll help improve blood circulation and decrease pain and release tension. So I personally like to just lay down on top of this for about 30 to 40 minutes a day right before bedtime. Especially if you're sitting around in a chair all day or you don't have the best posture. You may have very tight upper back muscles and shoulders, so this is really good for opening up and aligning your posture to the way it should be. You can honestly use this anywhere on your body, not just your back. So you could even do your quads, your hamstrings, your calves, even your feet if you want. It doesn't even have to be that long either. Just 5 to 10 minutes a day is honestly going to make such a tremendous difference. For example, if you're sitting around at school or work all day and you just feel really tight and cramped up in that position, just sit on this mat instead. Seriously, it will make such a difference. It'll release all that tension and fashion like your glutes and your hands and you'll just feel so much better. Third would be to get plenty of sleep at night. And I know this is so cliche, but it is such an underlooked thing. Your body needs a chunk of time around seven to eight hours of sleep at night is because that's the time your body has to recover from the physical activity of the previous day. I know a lot of you are going to say, oh, I can function on three or four hours of sleep at night and I'll just drink my coffee. I totally understand that, but that's not the point of sleeping. Like, have you ever gone for a really intense workout or sports team practice and then the next day you're just really, really like, ugh, tight? Well, this is part of why you probably didn't get enough rest. Over time, and probably by now, your body has become used to this very limited range of motion that's become the new normal for you. And while it might not seem like it's doing anything different, you could be doing so much more and going to so much greater mobility and flexibility if you just got enough rest. Remember, it's not just amount of sleep, but it's also quality. You want to make sure your body is fully rested, trying to avoid interruptions, invasive thoughts, and getting up randomly, because that throws off your sleep cycles and your muscle recovery times. Sleep Score app is really good for that. It detects your movement and sleeping patterns in real time at night, so it shows you how exactly the quality of your sleep is. It also has really, really great tips on self-care, rest, relaxation in general, which are super important for those of y'all trying to improve mobility and flexibility. For example, if you have like say the goal of being able to do the splits and you're doing like some stretching the night before, make sure you get lots and lots of plenty of rest so that way the next morning you feel nice and rejuvenated and you'll be able to move more freely and you will be able to reach your flexibility goal so much faster. When you're little, people probably always told you drink your eight glasses of water a day. Well, it's true than you think. Hydration is so important when it comes to flexibility and mobility and movement. Over 50% of your muscle mass is actually water, and when they're dehydrated, they just don't extend and contract the way that they're supposed to. Earlier, I was talking about fascia, which is the connective tissue in your body. 
Think of it like a stretchy, webby sponge over all your muscles that joins everything together. When it's wet and it has that water, it can move and easily and it can bend easily, but when it's dehydrated, it gets all stiff. Because the fascia layer is also encasing your muscles, and when that gets all dried up, it just makes everything feel really stiff and not be able to move to its full extent. Hydration is also super important for bone and joint mobility. Between your joints is this thing called synovial fluid, which is this watery, oily-like fluid that prevents friction between the joints and helps them to keep them moving and flowing properly. And when your body doesn't have enough water, it literally depletes of this fluid that's so important for cushioning your joints, which can lead to stiffness and soreness and tightness at your joints. I personally just keep a water bottle by me all the time and I just go back and refill it like every half hour, hour or so. Just take little sips through on it throughout the day and it's a really easy way to get your eight glasses in without feeling like you're chugging water. Next time you do try stretching or yoga or any mobility-based activity, make sure you're drinking water periodically throughout. Take lots of water breaks, and that way you can keep the oxygen flowing to your muscles, which will just help you move more naturally and freely. Warmer environment is also really good for improving your mobility. See, when your environment's too cold, like if you've ever gone for a workout in a really icy, icy cold area, your blood vessels constrict, and so do your muscles, which can prevent and inhibit mobility. However, being in a warmer environment is good for doing any movement-based exercises because it allows your muscles to open up and move more freely because it, the blood vessels aren't constricting to retain heat. So surprisingly, it's a very silly thing, but it does really help. So if you're ever like sore after a workout or you feel like you're just not getting enough a good stretch, take a warm bath. That can really help to loosen up your muscles and relax and decompress. Sounds really silly, but trust me, it is so helpful. Thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe and leave a thumbs up if you enjoy because I make lots more flexibility and fitness related content. Follow me on my socials, which I'm linking right here on the screen and comment below any questions that you have because I always reply. See you super soon in my next video because I'm going to be way more consistent about uploading, I swear, and look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.